Okay, we're going to demonstrate how to download and install the Cisco VPN client. This configuration assumes that the firewall has been configured for remote user access as well as radius authentication. If it hasn't, the procedure really isn't much different. There's one less prompt. Um, I'll point that out when we get to it. So let's start by opening up my computer. You want to enter in the address field ftp.tcgamerica.com. Hit enter. You want to go into the Cisco VPN client folder. And this is the file we want right here. It's got a long file name. Just drag and drop to our desktop. Okay. Close that. Then double click, unzip, and the setup will start automatically. Next, accept the license. Next, next, next. done and now we just need to reboot all right now that we have our VPN client installed let's go on and set up a profile hopefully your administrator has emailed you a PCF file that file would contain the information necessary to make the VPN connection. Now again, this information will come from your administrator. Um, if you don't have it, it can be typically easily emailed. So I'm going to go into my documents. And there I have my PCF file. So in the VPN client, we're going to import and go to my documents. And import that PCF file. Alright, now as I said earlier, we're using radius on this configuration and when you connect, we receive an additional prompt. Even though the profile contains username and password information, when you're using radius, you get an additional prompt. This is typically going to be your Windows credentials or whatever credentials are being maintained by the radius server. Again, this will come from your administrator. If you don't have radius, you won't see this prompt and you'd already be connected by now. So, that concludes our demonstration of the Cisco VPN client.